Oh! Hey up, your majesty! The lads are all back safe and sound. You've done Capstan upon all a right big favour, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him, righty. The kid's a flipping animal. Clobber that thing what snatched us, us, us lot up and it like it were no. Bosh. <laughs> Bosh, what a word. Who are you calling kid, you sackles o Sackless oaf. <laughs> sackles. I can't speak today, you sackless oaf. This isn't some bane from down road. It's a king. King Evan of the Artlands, I'll have you know. Sure up! A king and all! At his age! But what's some king from over the hill and far away doing coming and rescuing us lot? We need shipbuilders, and Mr. Wright told us that the shipbuilders needed our help. Ah, so it's that, eh? Well, King Evan, if it's boat builders you need, you find your blokes. What you're after exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe? Or something to live in? We can do a right good uh, houseboat if you need one. We need something big and hard-wearing. We plan to sail around the world. Hydropolis first, and then, well, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> around the flipping world, he says like it's no. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but you're not getting any ocean-going boat uh, out of any of the wood we got around here. Oh, do we need to go back to the forest and kneel? Nah, you'll need some really proper hard-wearing. The waves will soon wallop you to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hard-wearing wood? I think we better go and speak with Neil. He'll know of something we can use, I'm sure. Will he now? Well, you best go and ask your mate Neil then, eh? Let us know if you find uh, if you have word with him. <laughs> God, the amount of apostrophes in these sentences. Aye, doing all. We've a debt of gratitude to be paying you back. All right, good job. Save a few lives, get a boat. Seems pretty fair to me. Uh, what do we have here? So we've already seen that one. Uh, actually, no, I wanted to leave that unticked, didn't I, for now? Catch of the day, look at that thing. I confess I am proud of myself today. It has been an age since I landed a catch this big. It's surely enough to feed everyone in the kingdom. Yeah, no kidding, Glacis. GG, dude. Uh, and also, a mad for monsters. Look at that thing. Uh, yar, get a load of this fine snap of a charfinch in all its fiery, feathery glory. If you ask me, tis more beautiful than ever the fairest pirateess. Look at its bright red eyes and its flaming tail. Har, it's a truly a marvel. All right, cool. So we're aware of what that enemy is. Uh, let's get ourselves teleported over to the forest of Neil. Here we go. Or not. Oh, no, of course, Neil's with us now, isn't he? All right. Back to wherever more we go. Oh my word, look at our new throne room. Holy moly, this has stepped up a tier, hasn't it? Hey up, Neil. Hard wearing timber, eh? Aye, I have an idea for what you might be after. Reckon you could do a lot worse than the iron bow tree or ten. They grow over in the hardwoods there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and get some. Aye. Aye. That could be, laddie, that could be. But you'll be wanting to go strolling in there unprepared. You better not. You better believe me. Listen. Look. We blocked the path off a while back. There's a problem, see? A dirty great beastie with a few so short, you'd swear he didn't have one. Uh -huh. And there's no other way of getting around to these iron bow, uh, iron bow trees than going through this thing? That's about the size of it, aye. Oh, you'll be needing this. A bottle of thorn away spray. This is a wee magical concoction I like to call Thorn Away. In anything spiky you need to get rid of, this is your stuff. We piled the path up with buff, uh, puff birds. You'll be wanting to take a spray. Puff or two on it will take... Blah, 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 blah. We'll clear things out. A chemical that specifically targets spiky objects? That seems unlikely. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Come on, Roland. We'll set off for the forest right away. Why is Roland so sceptical? Mate, you're in a land of magic. Anything can happen here. I don't get why you're so sceptical. Let's get to the Greenling Grove. It's just, I don't know. I, I, if I went to a world of magic, I think I would slightly naively believe anything I was told. Until, obviously, I'd lived there for, you know, maybe a year or two. Then you start to get a lay of the land. I'd read a few books, find out what's real, what's fiction. But when you're in a fairyland, compared to your own world, anything goes. Let's be honest. Literally anything goes. Uh, where are you taking me? Do I need to ascend this tree somehow? Let me see. So that tree goes there. I can't even look high enough upwards to see where the branch starts. Um, oh, there, 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 there. Okay, we're good. I think this is where we need to go to. Or is that going to loop me back around the back? Oh, no, yeah, there they are. There's the spikies. How do I use this then? There you go. <laughs> I just didn't want to walk so close to them that I end up getting hit by them. So these must be the puff birds that Neil was talking about. Yeah, they look pretty spiky to me. I think he must be right. 
He said just a puff or two, didn't he? Well, here goes. Ooh. Golly! Wow. And there they go. Just like that. Wow. Wow, they really did. That's some pretty niche product. Tell you what, it's niche, but it does the job well, doesn't it? There you go. Uh, oh, a piece of lump and lumber. I'm hoping that when we get back to the kingdom, there'll be um, some of that heavier timber that we needed. Can't even remember now what it was for. <laughs> Genuinely don't remember what we needed it for. Oh, no, that was it. It was for making a uh, decent bow, wasn't it? We needed to make like a tier 5 bow for um, one of our craftsmen. So that's all good. A sun kissed tomato. Fancy finding one of those in the forest. Yeah, kidding. Comb of runny honey and a bunch of gunk shrooms. Can't go down that way. All right. Fair play. We will continue to browse the branches. Anything down here? A couple of dark mushrooms. I'm going to go right the way around the bend because there's bound to be something here. Oh, hello, friends. This looks like it's going to be a good scrap. Here we go, then. Tell you what, let's get across with this weapon. Nice, and as soon as we hit that hundo, get ready for it. Fireblade! There you go. Is the uh, mushroom already gone down? Yeah, looks like it might have done, actually. Ooh, Obsidia, you're new. So I'm guessing you're like a dark magic type. Interesting. And we get rid of you real quick. Ooh, ouchie. You're diving on me. Bye, Obsidia. Orfenito. Go on, give me a little victory dance. Oh, that sword looked like it had, like, cheese on it then. <laughs> not quite sure that's what it had. Uh, oh, wait, you need a spell, don't you? Roland, stop trying to jump on it, mate. You know by now that we need to use Quicken Growth. What's wrong with him? There you go. Big old beautiful mushrooms in it. Before we go across those, I do quickly want to investigate what's going on around here. So there's a chest there, and then there was also another turnoff where we just came from as well, so I bet there's a little something something down there for us. Ooh, a three leaf saw away. Tell you what, I've only just noticed recently when I've been trying to heal Roland, um, just how much more HP he has than the other characters. He has like nearly double the health count that Evan and uh, Tani do on occasion. It's ridiculous. Um, is there going to be anything this way? So this sort of overhangs the initial area, doesn't it, that we start in? Let's see. No, nothing on top there other than an item. A ball of heartwarming wool. Ugh. Oh, and then that actually brings us back to the start. Okay, never mind. Ignore me then. Ignore me. Well, then maybe the turn off was sooner. Hold on. I feel like there was a turn off to the right here. Oh, no, maybe there wasn't. Oh, no, I'm going crazy. That's fine. All right, up we go then. <laughs> Realistically, <laughs> you don't really need the mushrooms to get up there. Maybe like one of them. But all three of them just seem like a bit of a waste. More items to be had. There you go. Jar of holy water. Or wonder water, sorry. I think there's just like no normal water in this world. Maybe wonder water defines water that you can actually consume safely in this world. Oh god, it's splicing off in all kinds of directions. I'm going to guess if there's loads of beasties here, this is the one that we need to be dealing with. So, let's give it a go. Oh, come on. Really? The mushroom wasn't part of that move? Try again. There you go. That's it. Keep your stun spores coming. Or oh, maybe Evan could do with a little sore away. Damn, he's got like 800 HP now as well. Nice. Oh, wait, and the control's messed up. Oh, no, it didn't seem to be that bad. We're fine. Uh, let's try that move. Not bad. Not too shabby. All right, and let's go for this one. Oh, and I've got enough crystals. There you go. Good job. What else we got? Oh, oh I didn't even realize there was one of those here. I would absolutely have gone for him if I noticed he was there. I was just basically like bird's eye view, was it? Bird's eye view, tunnel visioned onto the uh, the mushroom. We'll grab all this stuff as well. There you are. Right, uh, we're going to cross this way, I guess. That looks like it's going to spin us away from it, if anything. Although, it does make a right turn afterwards. Yeah, you know what? Sod it. Go for it. There we go. Nice, ready? Nice, good job. Oh, they're dashing in. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Nice, got it. Whoa! Did we just find an epic? Oh, there's another one of those guys here. Quickly grab you. No, grab you, mate. Grab you, mate. Grab you, mate. Oh, God. I'm not even getting a chance to walk over to him. Let alone do any damage to him. Tell you what. Let me do this. Charge it up. Charge it up a bit more. And get him. There you go. Go again. Oh, my God. It's barely touching him. Okay, yeah. We need to do probably super effective damage on him. Still wish there was a way to tell Ronan and Tarni, like, hey, focus this one. Come up. There you go. Nice. Deal with him in the corner. Nice. We're drilling down. Slowly but surely. Come on, and... Nope, that's not even close to him. I popped that way too early. Come on, get him, get him. Nope, he's teleported out. 
Tell you what, if Evelyn, Roland, if Roland and Tarnie were on it, then we would have had that. Maybe, I, maybe I need to focus the other enemies, and then maybe Roland and Tarnie won't then have any other option but to attack it. It's just annoying that they never do. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's such a high priority thing to get those prisms. There you go. A new mallet for Batu. When was the last time I equipped Batu with anything? Should we have a little look at him? Where is he? There he is. The puzzling tower toppler. Oh, actually, I tell you what. I did equip him a little while back. Give him the crimson axe and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to change the platinum one over to this one. Because that one actually has a little extra something going on. Um, I guess that one would be better. Slight chance of confusing the enemy. But it's got a significantly lesser damage output. What about his bow? What's he got? Uh, where is it? Let's see, barrage bow. Here we go. Um, oh, the windy ogre bow. Tell you what, let me give you the amateur one. And we'll give Tarni the tibbity top one. The windy ogre's bow. Dude, look at that. 105. Is that our first weapon to break tri uh, triple digits? I feel like it might be. I feel like all, the, all our other melee weapons have only hit 95. Look at Tarni go. Let me look at this map real quick. Where are we going? Uh, oh, in fact, that was actually just leading us to the mushrooms. Tell you what, then. If that's the actual way we're meant to go, we might as well explore these branches and get any extra little goodies that are knocking about. Guess other than goodies, I guess we can get XP as well. That's fine. I'll work with it. And... Nice. Loads of Grim Treaders getting caught in that. Nice. Cool. Let's get heavy attacks in. Nice. And then focus this direction. Bye-bye to Obsidia. And you're going to go now before you even get to pop off your big ability. Panito! Right. Where have we not been to just yet? So we've been that way. Oh, in fact, we've actually explored all of it. Cool. We just missed a few enemies along the way. Actually, were there any other items there? Oh, yeah, there were. What do we get? Cobbler Nails. Chief of Jingle Wheat. Whatever that is. 34 Gilders. Cast your magic spell. Help the mushrooms grow up well. Ain't nobody that can tell you what to do. Because you are Evan from Evermore. Your name will ring forevermore. And your stories will be victorious and true. Oh, save point. And a trip door. That means something's at top of the hill. Let's get a quick save on the go. What is up here? So these must be the trees, but aren't they all gone? Oh, no, wait. Is that one there a tree? Oh, God. That's massive. Flip it up. Crikey. These are the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. Aye. Aye. And a mighty sturdy, too, by the looks of them. Tidy. Tidy. These are make a boat that can make a proper battle, uh, take a proper battering, man. There you go. And we didn't come across the monster Neil mentioned. Uh, I wouldn't celebrate too soon, Evan. It could be out there anywhere. Oh, it's a thog. Like a... Ice thog. Hey, up, mate. Zag. The doubted defender of the toughest of timbers. Let's have him then. So I'm guessing you are going to be fire moves, my friend. Let me switch out to here and try a fireball. Yep, looking good to me. 867 straight out the gate. He's level 32, so he's got a bit of a flack on him, but we should be all right. Go like this and back it up. Nice. Uh, let's go for a fire blade. Sod it. As long as he doesn't move. Oh, he jumped just at the wrong time. What's he plotting over there? Uh-oh. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, oh, he's moving about. Don't try following him, you two. You're crazy. Let me get over to these two. There you go. Nice. What's he throwing out? Oh, just some mana crystals. Where's he gone? I genuinely have no idea. Oh, there you go. You two fell straight into him. Idiots. There we go. Right. Get a load of attacks in whilst he's low. And a big old fire blade. Nice. Look at that outpour. Let me switch over to this blade. Come on. Keep going. Oh. My now. 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 Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, that was a big dodge. Big old dodge. Let's get that one going. All right. Let's have him. Oh, he sparked up a bit. And he's jumping again. Just stay away from him. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Where's he landing next? Oh! I see, so he's going to do damage across the lines. Where's he gone? There he is. Release them all. Nice. Tell you what, that did a fair bit of damage just there. And we'll get him in for the fire blade. That should knock him over. No, okay. He's starting to build up a resilience. What else you got left in the bag, Wolverine? Oh, where's he going? Tell you what, let me uh, knock a saw away on a few people. Just to ensure that they don't go down. Yeah, look, see what I mean? Look at the, look at their health. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, they're not actually that far ahead. I thought Roland was way further ahead before on the HP front. Where even is he? 
I can't even get a lock on him. Oh, there he is. Tell you what, sod it. Ready for it? Where is he at? Oh, no, that, that failed. <laughs> Where's he landing? There he is. I'm just going to wait for him to land on the ground. He's probably going to land, yeah, directly on me. Okay, fair play. That was my fault for standing still like an idiot. Oh, oh, yeah, go then. Go, Glim. Go, Glim. Go, Glim. Oh, mate, you are so done for. I'm just going to keep chaining these. You're finished. Oh, no. Let's get to him. Let's get to him. Let's get to him. I don't care about your little zappies. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Come on. Come on. Land somewhere I can get you. There we go. Nice. Oh, damn. He's down. All right. Fair play. Come on then, Roland. Finish him off, mate. Why he stood right there? I meant to stand to the side of him. All right. What's he going to try now? Not really a great deal. Sorry, Evan. You're not going to see this fight through. And... Oh, god damn. God, Roland's really getting himself into it, isn't he? Got it. Get him. Oh, Tarni finished him off. Well, a little punch in the chest. What is that item right there? The Windy Cloud Bluster, I think it was called. Oh, that's the Blighter Bag! <laughs> yes! Now we can finally get our hands on that wood. Uh, we better head over to Capstan and tell Ketch and the others we're ready for them to get started. All right. That's good stuff. Let me look at Leaf Book. Has Tarni done another cool picture? No. Oh, it's a hide-and-go-seeker. Take a good look. Do you recognize this place? If you do, you should get down there as fast as your legs can carry you because I've hidden a little something there that the first person to find is welcome to keep. Right. Tell you what, let's teleport over to the main body of the forest. So let's go to, like, the Greenling Grove. And I reckon we can find this hide-and-go-seek. Right, let's see them. Uh, oh, no. It feels weird running around as Roland, doesn't it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like not being Evan. There you go. All right. So, where would it be? It seemed to be like a little ledge, and then it had two of the uh, the coloured trees in the background. I want to say it was like right here, wasn't it? At least that's the, how the framing of the picture looked. Oh, but it's not a big mushroom in front of that. I guess we look for a big purple mushroom first, then go from there. Let's see. So there is a purple mushroom there, but it's not particularly huge, is it? So mushroom on the left, rock on the right, tree in the distance. Does it have any overhangs near it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Where is there a big purple mushroom? Maybe there? Yeah, maybe it's like that. Is there a tree next to it? Yeah, I reckon this is it. So where do you look then? Like, I'm fairly certain that that framing right there... Look at that. That's one-to-one, -one, isn't it? Tree on the left, tree on the right, between the rock and the other tree. And then you've got the purple mushroom right there. Little red mushroom to the left of it. Yeah, this is it. So... Where do you search? There, maybe? No? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's like a tiny little speck on the floor. A pendant of pluck. There you go. Um, I even mashed X as I was running around there. Apparently, didn't get it the first time. Let's have a look. So, it'll be under equipment, won't it? The pendant. Where is it? There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, no, that's a baby buckler. Where is it? Pendant of pluck. Here we go. Magic defense boosted when HP is low. Well, it's not that great. Whoa! What's that, you say? You backed a load of quality timber from the forest of Neil, have you? Cool, you are on you, lad. There's only right good wood comes from over that way. I can't wait to have a go on it. Don't worry about fetching it and that. All part of the service. <laughs> hey! Right, you bunch of old bone idol beggars. Let's get a move on, shall we? We've got a lot of gold too to be shifting. Where is that guy's pants on the right, by the way? And the guy on the left? And the guy in the middle? <laughs> And just like that, Evan had found himself the finest boat builders in all the land, and some timber worthy of their expert attention. Eager to get to work after their recent ordeal, the men of Capstan set about putting together a ship fit for a king. And before long, a magnificent vessel that no wave could hope to topple was all but ready to set sail. Whoa. Oh my! This is really ours. Blimey! Wow, it's amazing! I love it. Good. This means we'll be able to set sail for Hydropolis soon. Alright. Alright, Your Majesty. Uh, me and the lads wondering, you'd not be bothered if we decided we wanted to go and live with you over in Evermore, would you? Uh, really? Aye. 
Building this beauty has put the love of craft back into all of us. We have a few more like this in us, and we'll give us some, uh, what? Give us, give us the means to make them. Oh, can't read half of this. And besides, you don't know the first thing about boats. You'll only, <laughs> you only go letting this, this and run to rack and ruin without us looking after it. Okay, yeah, I get you. Uh, I suppose you're right. If you'd really like to join us, we'd be ever so happy to have you. <laughs> That's lucky, because I don't think Righty will be welcoming us back now that we've jumped shipped. Shipped. Ship. Ketch is now a citizen. Do we get a few more with you as well, or not? She's all set to sail. Well, nearly. We have to take her out on the test run first. Make a few vinyl tweaks and stuff. Flippin' heck! Oh, what? So we can't go off on our voyage right away, then? Sorry, lass. She'll need a fine bit of bob and doing before she's ready to take off. Ah, seems to be some time on our hands. Best put our affairs in order whilst we have a chance, eh? Yeah, let's head back to Ethermore and plan our next move. All right. Okay. Um. So, what kind of place is Hydropolis? Do they have nice food? It's a nation built on the ocean, where merfolk and humans live side by side. It's ruled over by a queen named Nerea. As for food, I believe the fish is very good this time of year. Blimey. You know everything, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Just how to read, that's all. I'm really looking forward to adding another nation to our union, and I shall be interested to see how other kingdoms are ruled too. I still have so much to learn. That's what I like to hear. Oh god, hey just yo. put some pants on, mate. Rule number one in Evermore. Pants required at all times, unless, of course, you're in bed or you're in the privacy room at home. Uh, Your Majesty, she's all fitted out and ready to set sail. We've launched her over by the coast nearby. All you have to do is climb aboard and get going. Yes! That's wonderful news, Ketch. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. It's time to take a voyage to Hydropolis. <laughs> 